Hello. Within the last video, we discussed adding context parameters to a job. Now let me show you how to work with a different type of parameter setting. Let's get started. As for the Dropbox connection parameter, I can adjust my settings to allow users to define their own values. For example, defining where the log values are pulled from and where the result files are pushed to before executing the job in the cloud. Let me show you how. I have my job open within the studio. I'll first head to the context tab. I will create three parameters, one to allow users to upload the file to the cloud, another to set the numeric value used to decide which royalties will be generated. I'll also adjust this parameter type to float since the filter is looking at a numeric value, a percentage. I'll add a quick comment on this parameter, so I'll be reminded later what its function is. And finally, I'll add a parameter to send the output file to our destination, in this case, Dropbox. Use parameter underscore followed by the parameter name in order to make these available to the user in the web application. Let's leave these values blank as they will be populated within the web application. I'll now open the tDropbox get component and within the path field, type in the context using the shortcut, control space on my keyboard. I'll get a list of available parameters. Okay, now I'll head to my tfilter row component and within my condition fields, set the condition to keep only royalty records, including users who have streamed more than 20%. I'll need to do the same thing with my tDropbox output component. Click on the Integration Action tab and click on Parameters. On this tab, you can select what parameters can be required to run this job. Let's fill in all three parameters. All right, let's publish the updated version of my job to the cloud. Now that I've updated the job to the cloud, I can point it to another log file if I have one uploaded to my same Dropbox application and I'll put the results in a different file than I did initially. I can also run the same job with a different condition to adapt to a different viewing percentage. From the Flow Builder page within the Talent Integration Cloud Web application, I'll select the job icon in the flow. And here are my custom context parameters displayed. Let's adjust the values for some of the parameters. Okay, I'll test and then execute the job. Let's head to my Dropbox. And here are my new records within a new file. Thanks for watching and please continue to watch this series for more demonstrations on how to use Talon products.